Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So incredibly volatile markets overnight. Um, our Chinese stock markets uh, have slumped over 8% at one point in their session, with 54% of all Chinese stocks actually uh, halted trading at one point uh, as the kind of stock market route continues unabated in that region. We've seen all the major Chinese indices all down, and it's um, also spread across the Hong Kong indices as well, which are down significantly this morning. And over in Japan as well has been hit quite hard. So looking at the US there, you can see yesterday's candle, we were down much lower. We wanted to finish a lot higher as it looked like a great deal was edging ever closer. And then um, today, the US markets have come off quite sharply again this morning. Very, very strange candle to have yesterday uh, to be then preceded by a very negative candle again today. So 17,561 is an exponential support. Um, the two tips of these candles here are indicative of selling pressure quite close to uh, 17818. But uh, all in all, between Greece and uh, China, um, there's a lot of reasons for people to be a little bit tetchy right now. And uh, this big crash in the Chinese stock market now is kind of taking a little bit more center stage versus, uh, versus Greece. I've also seen reports this morning that the Greek Prime Minister never expected to win the referendum um, the way that he did, and it's kind of backed him into a little bit of a corner now because now he doesn't know what to do. Um, and they've got until fr Sunday now uh, to reach a deal before the Greek banks run out of money, and they're expecting to have some sort of deal on the table by Friday to give them the weekend to, to figure things out. So um, it does seem to be a bit of a mess. Looking at the UK 100, this is a, 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 quite a staunch sell off we've had there. Similar candle to what we had in Germany ther on the US 30, sorry. Uh, but today's candle, again, quite deep into the red. Uh, with the UK market down at 1.2%. Uh, 64.15 is the next potential support, followed by uh, 60.73, which would be quite a strong retracement. Um, Germany 30 down, almost 2%, uh, down at 10,670. Looking at the technical break on Japan to do five, this is a pretty ugly move. Japan to do five down almost 4% this morning. Uh, a huge technical breakout below 20,087 as that um, uh, kind of panic selling spreads across the APAC region. And um, the next potential support on this market would be the tip of this candle around about 19,000, followed by 18,648 as well. With um, the Aussie stock market down 2% as well at 54 55 and uh, that's obviously not going to affect from that uh, huge Chinese self it's very unusual for 54 percent of the Chinese dogs to be to um, personally halt trading to try and stem the bleed even with a lot of unprecedented government action to support the stocks um, retail traders in that part of the world are not listening looking at dollar yen negative candle today breaking below one spot 87 uh, as people are flying to uh, the Japanese yen uh, for a safe haven. Next potential support is all the way at 118, 119. Um, but we've got a bearish engulfing pattern happening at the moment uh, with, uh, with dollar yen dropping even further as we speak. So moving on to West Texas, obviously having a negative couple of days. This was a decent drop here. Another negative drop yesterday. Imagine to close towards the end of its session, actually in positive territory. As a Greece thing, potentially is looking a little bit better. It's looking a little bit worse already this morning. Uh, and we were already beginning to drift that little bit lower. Um, 49, 49.40 uh, is the next potential support on West Texas crude. All the reasons, all the fundamental reasons we talked about before, and China is obviously a major factor in that. Chinese slowed down now, the biggest fear for West Texas crude. Gold, surprisingly, getting absolutely smashed about. Um, 11.37 is the next potential support. Um, people pretty much using Japanese yen as that safe haven rather than looking at gold, which is getting no love at all. Um, and quite a lot of negative candles here as well. And finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. So Euro dollar been quite volatile, uh, was down a lot lower yesterday, managed to recover some of its lost territory. It's actually very interesting to see how the Euro is responding to, to what's happening at the moment, but one spot 11 is certainly the potential resistance. The one spot 0786 is still a potential support. Um, the fact that we're not moving that much lower at the moment when European equities certainly are trying to move uh, a little bit further down. Uh, the euro seems to be well well, well supported incidentally, so it will be interesting to see how that continues on. Almost getting a death cross on the moving averages. Other, other technicals are quite neutral at this stage. 
Now, GBP USD is a bit more directional, uh, feeling more pressure. Real bad day yesterday again, as the dollar was gaining a little bit of momentum. Um, the dollar yen had been moving up higher until people been uh, buying the yen up a safe haven. We were at one spot, 54.24 at the moment, below both moving averages. This support looks potentially vulnerable for a break if that happens. One spot, 51.85 is the next potential support. Other technicals still show room for further downwards action with the MACD about across the zero line, which would also be another negative signal. Um, and looking at the kind of the, the, the size of the sell-off that we had here versus here, I could very easily see um, a, a move lower should the support level be broken um, towards one spot 51.85 before we might expect that strong rebound. If this follows a similar pattern of we've got this upsell and then a sell-off and we've got this upsell, and then the sell off, then the next phase of an upsell could be like the start of a of a, what, an APC corrective wave, perhaps. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, so excellent data wise, not a huge, huge amount of happening. As I mentioned, um, it's this week, Sunday's deadline for Greece. There's lots of deadlines for Greece, incidentally. Um, <clears throat> But not a huge amount of macro data due. You've got uh, crude oil inventories due at one at three thirty today. Not a lot happening on Thursday, and not a lot happening on Friday either. But Friday is probably when you'd expect the, late, the latest draft from Greece about um, what they're how they're going to kind of restructure uh, their debt and um, what type of reforms they're, they're going to be looking to uh, put on the table to get that next tranche of aid. Uh, but the Greek banks are pretty much running out of money at this stage. So keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.